Hello everybody, it is Aaron here, and today we're going to do something fun with a wise thin client. You're going to put an OS on it. So what you need is to take your thin client apart, upgrade your RAM because it only comes with 256 or 128, to 512. I believe the board can only read up to 512. Alright, you need one of these which is an IDE, a micro IDE uh, ribbon and uh, you need to pull the original hard drive off which is a little, there we go, original hard drive which is one of these just a little flash drive thingy that has an IDE port on the bottom so you want to pull that off put the ribbon on use a laptop hard drive alright doing good so far um, I wired mine up with a external USB DVD drive and we're going to load the operating system through that. When you uh, boot this wise thin client up, you're going to have to uh, go into the BIOS. And in order to get in, the password is Fireport with a capital F. This is a wise V10L thin client. Uh, Windows won't boot on it. I'm still working on that. Windows 8 won't either. Uh, it jams for some reason. Let's give it a whirl. Google Chrome OS. Okay, installed in the thin client uh, straight to the hard drive. When you log in, it brings you to a web browser. I'm just going to head on over to YouTube here. And the web browsing is actually fairly quick. We're going to watch a vid. And I'll show you some playback. Uh, Ethernet drivers work out of the box, sound works out of the box. Pretty much everything is working out of the box on this guy right here. Oh, nice. Terrible. Well, it's yeah, it's a little bit glitchy. Anyways, for an internet kiosk, not bad. So I'm going to load the system monitor. If you want to check out how badly the Ubuntu OS raped this hardware, click on the annotation over here. It is way better on this OS with this OS, I should say, than uh, the Ubuntu OS. This is sitting at about 70% with the browser open and uh, less memory it's using for sure. That's 512 RAM I've got in this thing, so not bad. I would recommend it using the Chrome OS over the Ubuntu. So thanks for watching guys. If you want to see other cool tech stuff, head on over to my channel. And I got some other awesome things coming down the pipe. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.